HVI's line of tan delta transducers are designed as accessories for our VLF E series of very low frequency AC high pots. These cable diagnostic tools help benchmark cable insulation performance, monitor and compare insulation degradation among many cables over time, and identify specific cables that are in need of further testing and or repair. The TD65E Tan Delta Bridge works in conjunction with a VLF E-Series unit. If you are not already familiar with the basic operation of a VLF E-Series unit, please refer to our VLF E-Series product training video. The TD65E can also work in conjunction with the E-Link software that enables remote control of the VLF E-Series. If you are not already familiar with the E-Link software, please refer to our three-part video series on the installation, configuration, and use of the E-Link software. In this video, we will provide an overview of tan delta, or dissipation factor testing, on medium to high voltage cables. We'll show you how to properly connect a tan delta bridge to a VLF E-Series unit, how to set up a tan delta test using E-Link software, and finally, how to interpret tan delta test results and make overall assessments of cable insulation integrity. Part 1. Tan Delta Testing Overview Tan Delta, otherwise known as loss angle or dissipation factor testing, is a common diagnostic method to assess the integrity of medium to high voltage cable insulation. Testing professionals can make predictions about the future of cable insulation performance and compare different cables to prioritize their maintenance and eventual replacement. Tan delta testing works by comparing the theoretical capacitive properties of a cable to its actual capacitive behavior. When cable insulations are free from water trees, air pockets, and other defects, the properties of the cable approach that of a perfect capacitor. In a perfect capacitor, the phase shift between voltage and current is exactly 90 degrees. But if there are any defects or impurities in the cable insulation, the cable will no longer act as a perfect capacitor, and there will be resistive current going through the insulation. Because the cable no longer acts as a perfect capacitor, the phase shift between voltage and current will be something less than 90 degrees. The extent to which the phase shift is less than 90 degrees indicates the level of insulation degradation. This loss angle is what's measured and analyzed in tan delta testing. Results of the test can be interpreted according to relevant standards in the IEEE 400.2 standard for VLF testing of cable systems as well as those provided by NETRAC's Cable Diagnostic Focus Initiative, or CDFI. Tan delta tests require a tan delta transducer or bridge that the VLF E-Series connects to. The tan delta bridge connects to the cable under test. Users may run the tan delta test directly from the front panel of the high pod or remotely using the E-Link software and a connected laptop. Tan delta tests require three different stages or levels of voltage during the test, unlike some general withstand tests that may require a single stage of voltage for a specified period of time. We'll cover the three stages in greater detail a little bit later in the video. Part 2. Setting up the tan delta bridge. The diagram on the screen shows the general setup of the tan delta bridge in relation to the cable under test and the high pot unit. The tan delta bridge is a relatively small device that sits on a tripod. It requires two D cell batteries to operate. The VLF high pot's high voltage output cable connects into the back of the tan delta bridge. An output lead connects from the front of the tan delta bridge to the cable under test. The tan delta bridge, the VLF high pot, and the shield of the cable under test are all connected to ground using grounding leads. The VLF high pot can now be operated from the front panel, 
or it can connect wirelessly to the eLink enabled laptop as depicted in the diagram. Part 3 Running a TAN Delta Test Whether you are running the TAN Delta test directly from the front panel of the VLF E Series HiPod or remotely from an eLink enabled laptop, you will first need to change your measurement source. The measurement source can be changed from the front panel by entering into the advanced settings. The default measurement source is VLF, but you can change it to TAN Delta. If using the eLink software, the measurement source is visible on the main test screen next to the signal strength meter. Once you have changed the measurement source to TAN Delta, you now can set up the general parameters of the test. A TAN Delta test runs at 0.1 Hz frequency. As mentioned earlier, the TAN Delta test consists of three steps of voltage that increase over time. To determine the appropriate voltage levels, you will need to know the normal ground-to-line operating voltage of the cable under test, which is represented by the u naught symbol. For a 15 kV RMS power cable operating at 13.8 kV RMS, that would be 13.8 kV RMS divided by the square root of 3, or roughly 8 kV RMS. The TAN Delta test requires a first step of voltage at 0.5 U0 for 3 minutes, so that would be 4 kV RMS. We'd enter those parameters for step 1 on our main run test screen, or directly from the front panel of the device. The second step of a TAN Delta test increases the voltage up to 1 U0 for another 3 minutes, so we would enter 8 kV RMS in step 2 for 3 minutes. The third and final step in a TAN Delta test increases the voltage to 1.5 U0 for a final 3 minutes. So, we'd enter 12 kV RMS here for step 3 and set it for 3 minutes. Please note, when expressing voltages as root mean square or RMS, be sure to check off the RMS box. At this point, we recommend you recheck your testing step parameters and the general setup of the TAN Delta Bridge. Make sure TAN Delta Bridge, VLF E Series HiPod, and cable shielding are connected to ground. Follow all local safety practices and precautions when working with medium to high voltages. Once you are sure you are properly set for a TAN Delta test, you can start the test remotely from the eLink software or directly from the front panel of the HiPod. Part 4. Interpreting TAN Delta Test Results It's important to understand what TAN Delta test results can and cannot tell you. A TAN Delta test is a global assessment of a cable insulation system, including accessories like splices and terminations. If a cable under test is not healthy, the TAN Delta test will show you evidence of degradation, but it will not show you why or where the cable is not healthy. TAN Delta tests are most suited to assess, classify, and compare large inventories of cables that require ongoing testing and maintenance. Single TAN Delta test results can be assessed using published IEEE and NETRAC standards. But the value of TAN Delta testing is also found by comparing the test results of a single cable over time, or comparing multiple cables to one another, in order to prioritize their maintenance and replacement. A full TAN Delta test will take 9 minutes at 0.1 Hz, collecting data about the loss angle every 10 seconds. From those data points, the mean and standard deviation are calculated for each of the test's three steps. By graphing the mean TAN Delta measurements for up to three steps of the test, testing professionals can easily assess the insulation integrity for the cable under test. If the insulation of the cable is near perfect, the TAN Delta measurements will not change much at all as the voltage is increased over time. For well-insulated cables, 
the tan delta test shows something in between a perfectly flat line and a highly flattened curve. But if the insulation has water trees or other defects, then the test will show higher and higher tan delta values as the voltage is increased. For aged or compromised cables, the curve is much steeper and nonlinear. In the diagram on screen, two high voltage cables are tested with a tan delta bridge. The newer cable shows little rise in tan delta values as the voltage increases. The older cable, however, is highly degraded. Just based on that comparison, the operator can immediately begin prioritizing the maintenance or replacement of multiple cables. As mentioned, a benefit of tan delta testing is that it's generally performed comparatively. Having said that, there are also relevant and applicable standards we can use as reference points for single or first time tests. The IEEE 400.2 standard for the testing of cable systems using very low frequency provides assessment tables for tan delta tests in section 5.4. Different insulation types such as PE-based, mineral-filled, or paper insulations, each have their own assessment tables. To use the assessment tables, you need three specific data points from the tan delta test. The first is the standard deviation of the tan delta at one u naught. The second is the tip-up, or the difference in the mean tan delta between 0.5 u naught and 1.5 u naught. The third and last data point needed is the mean tan delta at u naught. Once you have those three values, you can now use the assessment tables in IEEE 400.2 by applying Boolean logic with AND statements and OR statements. The assessment tables provide three broad condition assessments depending on the results. No action required, further study advised, and action required. Conclusion. Tan delta testing is a proven diagnostic method to assess the insulation integrity of a cable system. It can be used in a comparative manner or alongside published testing standards. For other cable testing and fault location equipment, please visit us at hvinc.com. This concludes the TD65-E product overview. Thank you for choosing HVI and three generations of engineering excellence.